Chelsea reportedly willing to offload Tammy Abraham this summer. The 23-year-old with six goals so far this season. 21 Premier League appearances, though nine of those have come off the bench. Shaka, Craig, Jan, and Stevie still with us. Uh, Craig, he did score 15 Premier League goals last year. He's just a 22-year-old. Uh, is it too soon for Chelsea to part ways with Tammy Abraham? Well, it's a difficult one because I, I, I do think at that club in particular, who have got a reputation for, for making a lot of signings, and we saw that last year in the summer with all the attacking players they brought in, that the, the difficulty is, is getting game time, which is why we're talking about him, because he struggled. Uh, look, he, I think he superseded expectations when he stepped up from the loan spell at Aston Villa in the Championship. He has done a good job whenever he's been in the team, but I, I think ultimately he's probably going to find himself as a bit part there mm. at, at Chelsea. And so then as a player, you've got to make a decision uh, and what's the best thing to do. So, you know, it comes down to what the board want to do and what the manager want to do. I don't think in any way, shape or form, even though Timo Werner has struggled for form, that you can point the finger at Thomas Tuchel because at the end of the day, so far he's taken Chelsea into the top four, which was the criteria when he took the job, and they're in the driving seat to a sense in the semi-final of the Champions League. So there's no real comeback here against the manager. It's not mm. as if they're struggling. Uh, they've been rock solid uh, under his stewardship. Jan, uh, as far as uh, Timo Werner is concerned, are you surprised with just how patient Thomas Tuchel has been with the German striker? No, not really, because uh, he has, like Craig said, he's been successfully doing what he's doing. And I, I mean, Timo Werner has a reputation in Germany as well that he could have spells, he could miss spells without scoring goals, he could miss big chances as he's shown in England. But I think that in a normal season, an adjustable into a season, Timo Werner will could do good for, for Chelsea. Remember that all these young kids at Chelsea got their chance at the time when Chelsea couldn't sign any players, so they had to go uh, on the young kids and some of them developed very well. I think that's one of the criteria as well for Tuchel when he took over Chelsea. Yes, success was the main, main thing, but I think that's also one of the criteria was to fix <laughs> Timo Werner and Kai Havertz, mm. the two Germans that he knew very well. And, and uh, like Craig said, how can you criticize Thomas Tuchel? He's, He's using them. He used Timo Werner. He criticized him after the games. You have to take that chance that he had uh, against Real Madrid. And Tammy Abraham, when you play for Chelsea Football Club, you will have spells like that. Uh, and I think that he should be patient. I think that he got all the, the skills in the world. And Thomas Tuchel, give him a preseason now. See then coming to August, September, what kind of chances you will get with Thomas Tuchel. And then take it from there before you knock on the manager's door and want to leave the club. Shaka, real quick on Tammy Abraham. Do you think he's been given enough opportunity at Chelsea? No, he hasn't. If you just look at the, at the pure numbers. Um, Timo Werner has played over twice the minutes that Tammy Abraham has. He's got two goals more in all competitions. So if you want to just draw a like-for-like -like comparison... Absolutely not. But at, at the same time, Tammy Abraham, as of this summer, will have two months left on his contract. Chelsea, extensive investment in, in the likes of Werner. So you understand the decision that, that they make. Abraham? That's my dog. Or Werner. Who are you taking, Stevie? <laughs> <laughs> Who did the dog weigh in on there? Uh, it's not the dog. Tammy Abraham, Abraham has to realise that Tommy Tuchel doesn't play a centre-forward mm. who's going to hold the ball up or who's going to run in the channels. That's not how Tuchel wants to play. He wants it to be smooth from back through middle to front. He wants interchanging parts, particularly up front with the front three. So it's not that Abraham's That's not, not good not, enough. You're just saying it's not a fit. It's not a fit. Okay. No, every time a new manager comes in, everybody goes, I wonder if this guy's going to fancy me or do I suit him? Mm. And clearly, Tammy doesn't suit him. Mm. Uh, we've heard that they're going after Erling Haaland. You don't believe that for Chelsea? Well, He'd be that nine through the middle. We're talking about a guy that can do everything. Okay. So it's a no-brainer. Right. You Tammy point. Abraham or not. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> would it be a good fit, Jan? Yeah, like, hold on. It would be a good fit for any club. So, but <laughs> the thing is that uh, we'll see where he will end up. I think it's most likely that he will stay in Dortmund. They're one point ahead away from the, from the Champions League, playing semi-final tomorrow. So they can somehow save their season. And I think that it is most likely that Erling Holland will stay in Borussia Dortmund.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.